ask. I didn't. It. No. Anyway. <laughs> so um, I need a half strength check from um, from Darian in order to attempt to move his um, his truck off there. And if it is okay, a Ford so Transit, they... then it is more a van. But sure. Take strength. How, how would I do uh, a half strength? Look for roll, strength, roll strength and then just roll. Just roll strength. It's the second number in the um, values we're doing this against now, so it might not show okay. true success rates at this stage. The good news is, you were successful. Um, instead, we use your 31 out of the 37, which is a success. So you're able to eventually get it moving and are able to roll it off the road. As this happens, though, um, another driver is about to appear. Dun, dun, dun. I'm assuming he's here because he did at least say something in there. Benjamin. Benjamin. Um. Samuel. No, he said he was going to be AFK a bit. Oh no, it's just because I saw him chatting in the um, in the roll twenty. I thought he'd back. That was the only thing. All right, no worries. Um, he's not. He's not back. In which case, yes, Atari is still going to come up and intercept this. It is a. It seems like a, a really fancy Aston Martin. Ray, it's me. <laughs> Periodically glaring Don't suspiciously at the man sat next to me. As you um, as you drive up, um, you notice somebody trying to push a van out of the way of you. It's us. I'm going to pull up. I assume I don't want to ram my Aston Martin into the transit. Probably not. Make a drive check to do that. No, I won't call a drive check for this just yet. <laughs> this, car's, this car's fine, after all. Plus, I can actually drive compared to your character. <laughs> Shut up. Well, he's, he can see it coming, so it's not as if it's um, an obstacle or anything like that. Still... You've, dri you've driven up, you can see the lights of the gas station are on, but not the diner. And um, there's also a small barn nearby of some kind. Right, so I am, um, like... The you are probably page? about there. Yeah. With him just moving his vehicle off the road at this stage. Okay. So, which way is he pushing it? In into the station? I'm pushing it toward the gas station, yeah. Yeah, he's pushing, yeah. It, into the he's pushing it towards the gas pumps at this point. I suppose I'm going to reverse park here-ish then. Okay, you have reverse parts there. Hooray! Um, you know, we might want to get out and go into the gas station since the lights are on. Yeah, there's a rumble, there's a rumble of thunder and the rain's coming down harder, but yeah. <clears throat> yeah, just do it. Still life. Okay. I'm getting out of the I'm... car, still staring suspiciously at Manny. I'm getting out of the car. I'm... Do you want to pick her up, or do... should I pick her up? You seem to be uh, pretty distrustworthy. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why I might distrust a random guy in the middle of the forest with a beaten-up-looking okay, girl. Okay, listen, I can respect that. Are you picking her up, or am I picking her up? Uh, you can pick her up. Alright, I lift her up, take her into the gas station. I'm going to, uh... Well, I'm going to see what's going on with these two um, Muppets with the van, actually, first of all. Well, one Muppet with the van. The old... There's an old man yeah. who's walking There's the There's an old man shouting at him, yeah, waving a stick <laughs> at him, okay. I'm going to uh, rush around and... Put the vehicle in park. Okay, you notice um, you notice the two men um, now taking a a thin, young, inappropriately dressed woman out of a car. Good. No, he's. I'm okay. I'm going to open my glove box. Please don't start a shoot. Well, no, by inappropriately dressed, I meant in a night dress. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining cats and dogs out there. Meow. Indeed. I'm gonna I'm gonna open my glove box and uh, get my pistol ready just in case something really weird is going on. You know, middle of the woods, dark area. Two people unloading a scantily dressed woman out of a car. Uh. 
Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I'm, I'm he's, heading I'm inside. Gonna, he's gone for his gun. Yeah, no, I'm going to see that, and I'm going to be like, oh, we need to get her out of the rain. I'm going to hold open the door for her. And the old man. The old gentleman. Okay, he's holding a door to the gas station open for you. Fair enough. Well, <laughs> stripe test. <laughs> Strength test. No, we're not going to call a strength check on that. <laughs> okay, so I have gotten into the diner following Manny, Manny who still you hasn't told me he's called Manny. Of course. Uh, I, I guess I would have said it more in the car. Just to... Yeah, I, I assume we might have introduced ourselves. It's, it's it would have been kind of an awkward to... journey, wouldn't it, really? <clears throat> Um, you see a door. It's going to be awkward anyway. You see a door leading into um, what looks like an office area. It's currently open. Um, interestingly, you've been here now for about three minutes, and there's been nobody at the desk for that time. I shout, "Hello!" <laughs> I was just going to knock on the door to the office and peek in. Um, the door swings open slightly and then nudges up against something, not quite fully open. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is there any light in the room? There's a light in the room, yeah. Oh, right, so I can see what... Uh, can I peek through the door? Um, as you peek through the door, you see a puddle of blood on the floor. Sanity check, please. Ah. Sanity check. Must get mop. Must clean. <laughs> oh, it streams succeed on a power <laughs> roll. <laughs> <laughs> did you roll the correct thing there, Dylan? Did just yeah, I've got that? full sanity. Hold on. So they're both the same stat. All right, but just... I hit the wrong button. You hit the wrong button. But yeah. All right, I'll let you off for that. I'm just going to... Hold on, where are we? It's only fair since you let me off for mine earlier. No, it's Wait, they're, they're equal stat. I know. I'm just... Doesn't matter, if you still rolled a four, you would have succeeded unless you were really wibbly in the first place. Well, I failed it for you, but that's fine. <laughs> that's just making sure that does work okay as expected. Okay, um, you don't lose any sanity for that, but um, yeah, you see a pool of blood in and just on the other side of the door, and get a rough impression from a smell about what might be blocking it. Hint, hint. Oh. It's probably not pets. Spot hidden from you now that you've noticed that. Me. Well, Dylan Who's actually. Dylan? No. Oh. Okay, nothing. Okay. Uh. Oh, God. Oh, uh, I, I don't like... think bodies affect me, do they? As a military officer? No, they still affect you. I think the man in here may be if dead. You if you or, took the war package or, or during the um, investigation, Very hurt, at sorry. least. There was uh, a package someone, you could take which reduced the effects of it. But, yeah. Break the door down, please. Break the door down through the body. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't open the door, can I? No, it's open enough you could get through it if you wanted to, but I'm just saying, as you went to open it about about halfway point, it hit oh, okay. it busted up against well, something. I'm just, just going to give them the warning then of what's probably on the other side. The hell are you on about, old man? I'm going to sort of barge over to the door and sort of look round it. Okay, as you look around, sanity check. <laughs> Yay! Uh, I'm also going to put the girl in some sort of comfy seat. There aren't any seats here other than wow. the small cashier's seat. Wow. Now, okay, does, does um, the diner not have like, the lever seat to the, the booth? Okay, you lose one. <laughs> um, Is there uh, no booths? Sorry? Is there no booths? There might be booths in the diner. You're in the um, you're in the gas station. Oh, I thought we were in the diner. Oh. No, the diner's completely no, no. dark. Well, it, it, yeah. does the gas station not have like a small counter of stuff? Well, there might be counters. There might be counters, but they're most sort of shelving units. Um, the offices you've seen inside does have a sofa and things, but <laughs> there's a body um, in there. I'm I'm going to uh, finally get out of my vehicle after putting my gun in my pocket and head into the store. Okay. Um, I'll just finish off what um, what Duncan's seen as he's done there. Um, you see okay. a middle-aged woman who has been shot through the head, blood covering the back, the wall, you know, the wall between the um, 
the supplies in the office. She's um, slumped against the door. I guess I'm going to walk in after them. I, I didn't walk in. I, put, I sort of leaned around the door to that's, see what that, was well, going That's on. what you saw anyway. But <laughs> yeah. Other than that, the office doesn't appear to be too bad off. It mostly seems to be in order. Um, the rest you'd probably need to do a proper search for. Is there anyone saying anything about the body? Since you've well, noticed, you since you found notice the body, I'll give you a spot hidden, actually. Oh. I, thought you should, I was just trying to get the sanity check out of the way. Okay, if you wanted to go around and see it, sure, you have. Okay. Your first instinct upon knowing there was a dead body who, and a woman who has been shot is that you notice the cash register has been opened and there is very little money in there. Basically some change. Right. I'm going to go and put this girl on the sofa. I'm going to get my gun out and try and secure the building. Okay. This yeah. place is... I'm going to call out to the other guys. This place looks to have been robbed. Check that there's no uh, robbers here. <laughs> Go wield my walking stick. Give a shaky hand. So you're going to I'm examine gonna... the area, are you? I'm going to slide my hand into my pocket and slide my brass knuckles on. I am going to go and check the entire building. I'm going to sit on the counter. The entire building oh, is God. pretty much the area you've already seen. I mean, there's a there's a sort of partition and a, a rather filthy toilet behind the door. That's about it. Other than that, you've seen everything. There's a small desk, um, obviously the sofa where you've got the um, lady, a few bits of paperwork um, scattered around on the desk, a chart on the wall, um, seeing the marking holidays and times off, various stuff, um, a flyer for the diner, which you guess is the one next door. Not a lot else here, really. There is also a small okay. safe, but you've also noticed that it's been busted open as well somehow. Okay, so the, the building's secure. The next step would be to cover the body. Out of respect. In fact, no, it would be investigating the body. What am I thinking? I'm going to investigate the body. So you're looting it. Now, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to go and see how warm she is. First aid check. Why do I keep closing the character sheet? <laughs> Fail, fail, fail. Um, you can't make any educated guesses about how long ago this was. From a cursory examination, anyway. She, You do notice she has no uh, other wounds other than the obvious one. Okay. Um, how does she look to have been shot? Was it... Does, through I know through just, the head. No, 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 no. But where's the blood, where's the blood splatter? Can I, Is there do any... you have science forensics? That's a skill? Yeah, forensic is. is a skill. If not, I can't give you any information unless you want to try and make a zero one one for it. No, I'm just sort of seeing where the blood is on the wall. Um, against the wall, about up to about six foot high, splattered against... Um... So it's behind her? Effectively, it's, it's against this wall. It's against this wall, sort of up against the door, almost. Okay. No. The only yes. other way. Sorry, what was asked? I, I said, is there is there not a CCTV system in the office? It would be kind of common for a gas station. Yep, it might be. I was talking. You don't, see, either, you don't see any computer. You don't see any computer equipment or anything like that here. I keep forgetting it's modern day. <clears throat> you, yes, do, it's however, modern you do, day, however, see a ca you do, however, see a camera at least here anyway, but it seems to be the only one. And you have no indication, at least offhand, whether it's even working. Yeah. <laughs> it might not even be real. Well, I'm going to call out to the room. So this is pretty bad, as you can imagine. We've got a body, and we've got a girl that was running through the woods. I suggest we maybe call the emergency services, chaps. Uh, yes. There's a thunder just... of, there's, there's a flash of thunder and another, yeah, another lightning um, strike going on somewhere. My I next action was going to pull out my phone. The lights start flickering. 
Oh, it's fair. Curse. <laughs> well, <laughs> it does have lights. Well, not, okay, but not, nothing happens to the phone, but the light lights. in the office um, begins flickering <clears throat> yeah. slightly. I, I think I'm going to enter the building at this point. Okay. You have entered the building. Everything seems to be congregated in the office. And arm. Um, uh, I guess I'm going to head over that way. <laughs> Actually, I'm sitting on the Sanity counter. Sanity check for you, please. Okay. I do not want to be in that room. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Trying to find it. Where's the roll thing? Ah, uh, there it is. How bad does it look for us now? We're all in the <laughs> room with a shot woman. There's a beaten up young girl lying on the couch outside. Outside? And you're the one holding a gun. Go. Okay, no sanity loss for that, but you are a bit shocked to see a dead body who has clearly been shot through the head. Jesus Christ! Who did... No clue, mate. The place what, seems to have been robbed. What did you do? We didn't do anything. I found I the body first. Listen, yourself. well, look at that cat. Look at the uh, look at the register and look at the safe. This place has been robbed. What? This place. You can you can see the safe. The safe is open and there's nothing in it. Listen, mate. Uh, we've uh, just come here. My my car is in a ditch. This girl ran out in front of me. I point to the girl on the uh, sofa. The lights. I found off. her. Oh shit. It's doing suddenly, the same thing my car was. Suddenly, no warning, pitch black. God fucking pale, damn it. There's a pale okay, glow I'm gonna, I'm gonna out of the... Like the light on my phone, yeah. Yeah, that's fair enough. yeah, I'm gonna use the flashlight on my phone as well. <laughs> I still have my flashlight. You do? Well, that thing's you can stay on. I, You're now in the I dark. I have zero flashlight because I have a Nokia. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with this place? What's wrong with this woods? Can I have a luck I roll know. from all four of you? Oh, fuck! You mean... Yep. Yeah. Roll luck. Where, where was oh, luck? <laughs> Just note, luck is the one stat you're not allowed to boost, reroll, wow. or... You are allowed to spend luck points to improve rolls. <laughs> you can't do it with a luck roll. <laughs> That's three horrific <laughs> rolls. It is, so I'm going to have to say that the one who failed hardest was Duncan, Me. by degree of failure. Yeah. I mean, I was just making sure that the numbers were tallied on this. So, as you turn the phone to the sofa, <clears throat> you see... You see a young girl staring at you with cold, dead eyes. Blood all over <laughs> her face. Jesus, Sanity fuck. check. <laughs> oh my god! We brought her in with us! We brought her in with us! <laughs> You lose one. You lose one, but that's otherwise successful. The lights come back on. Um, it's not blood on her face, it's just the way the bruise was against the lighting. She then sees the body and starts screaming. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I feel this is a good time for me to join up with the rest of them. Yes, as you you drive up, you see um, lights on in the gas station. You happen to need gas. <clears throat> I was just going to say, uh, you know, because of the weather and all, it's probably taken me a long time to get to my destination. Yeah, you knew... Call the thing well, off, say but local knowledge, you knew there was a diner here. Yeah, yeah. Well, other than that, we, we say, can say you knew there was a diner here, but you're a bit disappointed it's closed, but hey, you might be able to get a snack or something. Okay, at this point, you hear screaming. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, uh, I'll show you that my phone's in working order, first of all. Okay, check your thumbs. <laughs> your, phone. <laughs> your phone your phone appears to be working. And your thumbs are still opposable. Yeah, your thumbs are still opposable. Yeah. Well it's hopefully it's nothing. I guess I'll uh, cautiously uh, approach the gas station. Hate to walk in on an argument or something. It's always awkward. Okay. Um the young girl has now just basically run to the corner and is now cowering from all four of you. So, uh, I see a young girl, uh, well, barely dressed, cowering in fear <laughs> from, from several men. Yep, um, she's staring pointedly at the body of the dead middle-aged woman. Do I see this body? As you go around the corner, yes you do. You also notice several people holding some form of weapon and torches and phones. 
Oh, I'm, so I'm already in top. <laughs> You're I'm already going to need a sanity stick. check. Yeah, you would have... Yeah. I was going to just sort of look through the window, or like the door, There's... but I guess, right. I guess I walk right inside. All right, then. Fair enough. <laughs> Don't worry about this. You walk into the um, area. There's no, really, there's no member of staff at the desk. You can see a couple of people milling in. Um, you hear there's noises. You hear noises in the office area. Do you wish to stay out there? Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, it's fine if you do, it, but obviously... So um, the, I, I take it the door is closed. I can't just see straight in. Uh, well, it's half at an angle. It's, o it's open because they all went in, but it's not an angle you can just immediately see the corpse and what's going on in there. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll be I'll be stupid. I'll like take a peek first, so I don't you know get alarmed over nothing. Okay. As you take a peek, can I have a spot hidden check from you? Okay. Let me. Sadly, I actually did quite well on my spot. Yeah, you don't notice the body as you go around. The... You don't notice the dead woman as you go around the corner. You just notice everything else. <laughs> So I am, do I have to make some sort of sanity check for the rest of no, it? No, you didn't. You didn't spot the body. That's what I was checking for. Oh, I mean, ignoring so... the fact that he's stood in a pool of blood right now. Well, yeah, but he's got boots on. He might not have looked down. <laughs> <laughs> he's, but he he's, does he's look not, down. He's sneaking at this point and he's just not looking around anyway. So, oh, do I need to make a sneak check? Okay. Yeah, have a sneak check. Uh, what skill would that be exactly? Stealth, Stealth I guess. Stealth. Critical yeah. fail. Critical fail. Fumble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, he trips into the room. <laughs> at, at this point, he sees the body. Because he's just fallen over next to it, yes. <laughs> well, it wasn't... Oh, so I was entering the room, like... Okay. But Possibly yes, you slipped uh, on the blood you hadn't she, noticed. She's, she's just behind the door. That's what stopped the door from opening fully. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't go too insane. No, I mean that's fine. Uh, one one loss for the scene of their body. Um, yeah, so you passed your sanity check, and that's just caused even more more chaos. Uh, the young girl is still screaming and is covering her eyes up. Don't get me! 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 I'm going to well, crouch crouch down and try and look as harmless as I can in front of the little girl. I look very her. confused at the uh, new person that's just fallen face first onto the floor while holding my uh, phone and flashlight at him. Grr, you had popped to the road. I wouldn't have to come in here and see all this. I told you. <laughs> my car's engine died. It's weird. It did the same thing that the lights did, though. The light, oh yeah, the light came back on, didn't it? Yeah, the light did come back on. As I say, it was sort of almost coinciding, coinciding with the screams. Um, yeah, sh um, can I have a psych psychology check from um, from Marishan? A psychology check? Oh, well, you're, effectively, you're trying to calm her down at this point, at least enough to be able to talk to her. Yeah, that's not going to work. No, that doesn't work. No, she just she stopped screaming at least, but she is um, she's huddling corner, almost fetal. And is babbling something under her breath that you can't hear. I'd make a listen check, but I'm not going to succeed that one either. Uh, I yell at everyone that the police have the building surrounded. And they should uh, deliver themselves with their hands up. At this point, you do hear a police siren. I, I look around confused. <laughs> <laughs> Thank fuck for that. I I stand up and try and head out towards the uh, front I'm of the gas to station. To I would up and hide here. Yeah, I'm just a feeble old man. My hands are my hand. Well, my one hand is up. My one's on my stick. I've been gonna <laughs> try and look as feeble as possible to you know um, make as them you, feel full pain. I assume you're full you're pain. exiting the office at this point. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Through the window, you see a um, you see the flashing red and um, blue lights of the. Um, of a car, and you see an officer with a flashlight walking towards you. Yeah. Towards you. Rain is now still pouring heavily. Is everything all right here? No, it's not. Quick, inside there's been... Uh, God, I don't even know what it's been. Just get inside and have a look. Harold, why are you here? <laughs> it's 
three. Yep. I'm just here because I couldn't go anywhere because someone parked and blocked the road. I told you, my engine died. <laughs> okay. Um, at this point, the cop um, seems to think about something and then goes back to his car briefly. He um, he quickly just picks up his radio and um, begins talking into it. You can see he's alone at this point as well. At this point as well, the lights on the, the police <clears throat> car seem to fade and flicker. Do I notice this? Uh, you all kind of notice. It's fairly obvious. They were flashing <laughs> red and, you know... They eventually then turn I off. point at it and I'm storming up. I point at it and say, "Oh God, it's doing it again." What are you again. doing? Please stand back. Um, he seems to be just radioing in, or at least trying to radio in. You notice, you notice. He's getting a lot of static in reply. Uh, All right. I don't Down. think things can get much worse than he. he um, I'm going to go over to one of the vending machines. He um machines. he then puts that away and brings out a um a notepad. Can we get somewhere dry? I need to you know what's been going on here. I'm tired of incoherent with anger at this stage at how ridiculous this guy's being. I just told you everything's a mess. Get inside and see. As I uh, as I look down, reaching for my wallet, I notice that I am covered in blood from the puddle I fell in. You are, but it's also raining hard and you hadn't quite noticed that. Hmm? Also, all of the lights now go off. I mean, the whole thing was sort of... Uh... You are in pitch black again. What, including all the torches and things? I still all have the of the lights have just on. gone off. I'm going to feel for a wall to lean against. You hear... Um, you Wait, does the flashlight on my phone go off? Yep. Okay. I sort of awkwardly oh, fell about trying to shake the blood off myself. You see a flash of lightning in the distance. And... As you look down towards it, you see a pale white light. As I look down, I see as you look down it. towards where the down the road towards where the um, towards where the thunder strike what you saw was, you see a pale white light about here. So can you ping mm. that again? I don't see it on the map. But... Oh, oh, right. Oh, you're pinging. Yeah, I'm, I was pinging. Pale white light about there. Ah. The way we came from? The way you came from. What the heck is that? <laughs> it's a W6. The, um, <laughs> the cop, the cop um, you can just about make out in the gleam, gleam light brings out his, his gun. Everybody inside. Yep. Oh, I'm already okay. inside. <laughs> I'm inside as well. Is there any other way out of that building? Anyone else hiding in there? Was there windows? There was a small window, but there was no way anybody could have gotten out of it. There's a small window, but as far as I can tell, no one's here but us. Um, he, body. He, he turns towards you, but you can't see what expression he's got on his face at this point. And the girl. Oh, did you oh. mention the girl? No, oh, I'm just. He's like, he's, he's like, reverse. there's nobody there, and it's like, <laughs> apart from the body and the girl. <clears throat> um, I thought the girl was with us. Trying to show to the bloody police officer. At the mention of the body. Body? What body? Looks um. like some kind of botched robbery, and they knocked over the woman that was in the gas station. Gas station. No, I gotta report in that the web house has been broken into. The what? What? He um he, he doesn't answer that immediately. He stares forward at the light, which is now getting brighter. What the heck is that? He steams, he steps know. he steps towards it. I think this would be a it's gonna uh, time. I'm gonna I'm gonna hide. back away. Yeah. I'm gonna try and hide. Where are you going to hide? There's lots of rainfall coming on you at this point. Are the lights back on at this point? Uh, well, I meant, like, no, the lights are not back on at this point. I'm, I'm just backing up to the gas station. Have my eyes adjusted to the darkness at all? Well, yeah, that's why you can see the pale light in the distance. That's it. Um, 
Can I have a power check from anybody who's trying to concentrate on it? Uh, okay, give me a sec, because I, I keep was... having to close the character sheet, because it gets in the way. I was going to... Uh... Ooh, dip. I just, I have, I've had mine pop Critic? down to a separate window. Wow. Oh, wow. Me. I rolled a one. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, success. Okay, um, Duncan. When I ask yeah. for this power check in future, ignore me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, well, there's something to... odd about there's something odd about the light. I mean, it doesn't appear as if it's a flashlight or anything like that. It seems static and shimmering. You'd almost assume it's a person dressed in white or something that's doing a a dance there, but almost illuminated. And the the cop continues to walk down towards it. Well, uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, grab that. Uh that snack from the vending machine that I was trying to punch in. Okay, you stole a snack from the vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> I stole it? Oh, you got, a, you got a snack from the vending machine. Here. Well, if the power went out, the vending machine wouldn't work, so... Mm. I'm, oh, I'm well, then... going to run inside the building. because I I'm don't suppose. Uneasy well, I, 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 I'm staying And inside. wet. Okay. Well, since everything is... A, There's a flash a, of lightning, a... and suddenly... The lights come back on inside the um, building. Oh, thank God. Yeah, perfect time to get that snack then. <laughs> the pale white light appears to have disappeared. As seemingly has the cop. Hmm. Uh, while I was looking directly at them, because I was backing there away. There was a flash of lightning them. as you were facing it. I'll have a spot hidden, but it's going to be a hard one. I'll, I'll call it 1 5. From pitch blackness, bright lightning. Ew. Okay, oh wow. Okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> I actually succeeded it. Okay, I'll give you that. A one in five success. Um, you notice him <clears throat> drop as the lightning is struck. Okay. He drops about here. Okay. No. Doesn't drop as any fell over. Or he seemed to fall the over at that point, the point of the lightning. He hadn't got any. He hadn't got quite towards the light at this stage, but he—that's where he. Sorry, a bit closer actually. He's about there-ish down the road. Okay, the light, I'm, the pale, I'm... the pale white light is gone. I'm gonna dash over to where I saw him drop then. Okay. As you approach, spot hidden, please. <sighs> I have to keep closing the sheet to see your pings. Oh, sorry. Running about uh, after all these silly young people. I start following well, he's you. Certainly, he's certainly run off. Um, you're trying to chase him, are you? Well, I'm following very slowly. <laughs> Hobbling after. Yeah, with my move rate of nine and yours of four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna strike up conversation with the vending machine guy. Okay, you, you do that. Now, but in the meantime, I'm gonna concentrate on where the action the vending is. Machine guy. Um, okay. You eventually catch up to where he fell over. And I'm going to need a sanity check here. Because this guy's been shot as well. Oh, for crying out loud. Um, I'm only going to have you lose a D3 for this because it's um, you've already sent a dead body very recently. Okay. <laughs> so you only lose one. <laughs> Which I would have lost anyway because it's a dead yeah, body. Yeah. <laughs> But, um, yeah, he's been shot clean through the neck. Is it a big bullet wound or just like a regular bullet wound? It seems like a regular bullet wound. Um, okay. But he's, he's evidently dead. Well, you can check him if you want, but he seems to be. Well, people don't instantly die from shots unless it's through the heart or the head. Yeah, he could be... the body? He could be gurgling. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> okay, first aid. <laughs> well, as near as you can tell, lying face down in a puddle of water and having a uh, shot through the neck, there was no chance of saving him. He's dead. Okay. 
about a minute In later, that case, about a minute later, fuck this. About a minute later, <laughs> um, the old man hobbles up to you. He will also need a sanity check. <laughs> Uh, where's the? Uh, I minimized it. Is it a... I had to down to a separate window. So I've already succeeded in oh, yeah, all of the matters I'm currently engaged in. That's an important thing to do. Okay, D three from you then. Okay, you see these two. Yep. As you've seen a second dead body. Yep, shot shot through your neck. Christ, I didn't hear. I didn't hear you shoot, so there's clearly something else going on here. I'm okay. I'm, I'm gonna get out of here. But if these boys were here before I got here, can't blame me for this. <laughs> I hobble back to my car. Come, you tits, old man. Get back inside. So you are heading back inside, are you? Or... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna sort of escort. Harold, back towards the uh, gas station. Okay. Meanwhile, back in the gas station. I was assuming Harold's actually willing to go with me. Mm. Uh. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So you two are heading okay. back to the, you had two are heading back. Right. <laughs> what are the other two? Really what are the other three you. of you doing? Well, I uh, already messaged you with what I'm doing. Yep, sure. So you're now searching around. Um, you're not obviously finding a lot unless you want the abandoned toilet. You could try and get into the diner, which is a possibility, you guess, at this point. Uh, I don't want to go running out the door with a bunch of heavily, you know, I'm in there. Sure. Um, I'll need to do something else as well for the two people who are outside, but I'll get there in a moment. Um... So, anything else the three of you are going to be doing while you're in here? Um, I guess I'll try and see if I can get uh, more cell service. If I have cell service again, sorry. It's still stirring emergency signal only. Uh, what do you make of all of this? I asked to the uh, other people in the room. I think we should get the hell out of here. I agree, but the same thing seemed to be happening to the cop car that happened to my car. It, and the lights in the buildings, for that matter. They seem to flicker and go out. Where'd the cop even go? I don't, I don't know. They were outside. He'll be the dead old now. Man and, the old the, man the, and the, um, uh, the young girl is now guy. standing behind you and has just said, He'll be dead now. Hmm. What? Well, someone who knows what's going on. It dies. She's staring at you almost cold. She has basically expressionless. Uh, All we can I'm, do I'm sorry, is hide. what? All we can do is hide and wait. It'll come for us. It what will come for us? It's very hungry. What? She um she stumbles backwards and um eventually falls asleep well conscious but rather than asleep but she just slumps back at that well that was creepy well at least i can understand the creature's motives now given i'm also hungry is that not all you can think about is food why well, don't say that out loud you know <laughs> you just did You're allowed to articulate your thoughts in an uh, in a role playing game. I am a fucking idiot. My mic's been off this entire time. <laughs> that does help. I was wondering what you were up to. I was trying to calm down the girl. I was like, "What? What's going on?" Unless you had psychoanalysis, um, it was I unlikely do. you were going to be up. A... Oh, God, <coughs> you do. Okay. Oh, I don't. I have psychology. Yeah. No, psychology is to tell. Psychoanalysis is the curing of um, psychic conditions. Oh yeah. Oh damn. I took loads of points in this now. But um, but in any case, so what did you want to do? I'll give you a couple, I'll give you a bit of a backtrack. No, it's fine. I was actually just going to see if I can calm her down, but if she's going to be creepy, then that's fine. 
But I did kind of look at the others and, and maybe suggest we should, for her own safety, find her somehow. <laughs> Great. I, so, <laughs> I, I, I can't You're not hear in the, the words with a big girl. I know, I'm just, I'm just articulating a thought. I catch him in the woods with a big girl sticking him in the back of the car. I escort them to the diner, and then as soon as I'm gone, he starts trying to tie up the girl that was beaten in the woods. Yep. You saw her. Right. <clears throat> I, I, don't, I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, she just passed out. Wouldn't tying her up make her, I don't know, even more frightened you just, and possibly insane than she already is? You just heard what she said. I think she might be a danger to herself. Uh, I, what as I'm long scared, as she's passed out. What I'm scared of is if she runs out and runs into the woods again. Oh, yeah, we we can't let that happen, but it doesn't sound like she's going to. Considering she said she wanted to hide. Okay, um, it's been a... You've been out in the rain and cold for about five minutes for two of you um, who were already out there. Um, can you make mm -hmm. a constitution check for me? Okie dokie 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 doodles. Okay, you're both fine. You, you feel the onset of chills quite badly at this point, but you do make it back into the, um, admittedly not very warm, but at least not outside and wet um, gas station without trouble. Ugh. You have to be pretty darn convincing to get me to go out there again. You don't want to want to jump in the car and try and drive away. You're gonna see now, old man. Hey, where's the cop? You don't want to know. I, <laughs> I, I, I kind of do want to know. You don't want to know. What happened? Look, just stay the fuck down and stay inside. Get... Someone no, shot him, shot him through the frickin' neck. What? The the crazy girl mumbled something about him being already dead. <clears throat> well, she was fucking right. So stay low, and Jesus, what's going keep on away here? from the fucking windows or something. I, I don't know. If anyone's got guns, I suggest they keep an eye out for how highly accurate it is. It must be a sniper or something. We should definitely uh. Stay away from any uh, a sniper outdoor out spots. Rain? You hear a fizz yeah. you hear a slight fizzling, and then the lights begin dimming again. Oh God, not again! I'm pulling out my gun. I'm pulling out my flashlight. I think he's right. We should hide. The lights, the lights in the um, office um, fade and dim out. As then, shortly afterwards, do the other lights in this area. I'm going Fuck. to hide. Uh, hunker down in the it's corner. almost like there's an EMP going off. No, I'm that's gonna lightning storm. I'm gonna slump down behind the counter. I think okay. I'm just gonna. Go Is anybody the in the office well. area at this point? Yeah. No, um, no I'm, I'm in the main of, part. Yeah, I've not really moved. I'm sort of at the door, to be honest. Well, I'm hereish. Okay. Then to start with. Oh God. Manny. Oh, no. Yes. You see a pale white silvery light through flickering through the trees out the window. It's the only light other than the flashlights and other things that people have. Which and window? It seems to be getting brighter. The window, the small window in the the office here, it's not big enough to get through, but All right. I call out to the other guys. There's a light at the back of the office. And I aim my gun at the light. Okay. Oh shit. The light appears to be getting brighter. I turn mine off. You, as you turn the light off, um, it's now definitely more distinct. You know you're not imagining it anymore. It's definitely there. Something is moving through the trees. I'm a gonna faint start... silvery light source is approaching of some kind. Yeah, I'm going to crawl low. Around, I think this is the door here, isn't it? Um, yeah, I kind of had the door. I know it's not clear, but I had the door represented about here, actually. All oh, right, by, okay, by and, the and then it's quite close to me. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna sort of stay low and crawl through to the office <clears throat> to see what he's shouting about. Okay, you also see a pale, silvery light um, somewhere between the trees, slightly swaying. The fuck is that? 
can I have a power check from Snoopy? Not not Marijan, I've already said. This is the check I meant. Okay. <laughs> That's a dexterity, but okay. Oh, it's a dex, was it? Oh, shit. Yeah, it's right next to it, isn't it? I, got, yeah. I mean, got I think a 38 is still a success for you, but... Uh, yeah, I've got a power of 60. You feel an odd awareness of it, almost as if it's it's strangely fascinating you in an odd sort of way, almost making you feel slightly dizzy, almost as if you're being slightly hypnotized. It's an odd sensation. I shake my head and try and clear it. Yep, okay. That's, that's effectively what you've done with a successful check, in fairness. Oh, right, I see. What the fuck is this light? You then hear a sizzle of something. Can I pinpoint where it's thing? It seems to be coming from the window. <laughs> the window I'm looking at? Yeah, something seems to be sizzling. Okay, I go to a knee and aim at the light source. It doesn't I... seem to be around it. It's sort of almost hidden away now. Guys, there's noises. Window from the light. This is getting freaky. Perhaps somebody's just cooking sausages. I I prepared a shoe. <clears throat> Can I... So I attempted to hide away in the bathroom. Yep, you're in the right bathroom. Now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm it's not been add. cleaned in about a month, but it's oh dear. it's probably safe enough. You hope. Apart from the smell. The window pane appears to catch fire. Jesus Christ, the window's on fire! I wonder what the light immediately the appears yelling about in the underroom. You you actually see the window the window pane appears to be on the window is on fire seemingly or at least the wood around what the, the fuck? window is now on fire. Holy fuck! I'm I'm gonna um I assume being a gas station they have fire extinguishers. Oh yes, they have fire extinguishers. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm getting a fire extinguisher. Quite I'm a gonna lot. crawl into the office to see what's going on. The window is on Do fire. I... It's now light. It's now light again. <laughs> Not <quite> nice, but... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I'm going to run out after hearing everyone shout fire, fire loudly. Yep, you run out and see the fire. It's basically in front of you as you come out of the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I move away. Can I have a spot hidden from you as you do this? From whom? Uh, fr just from... Yeah, just from Senior. Tenure. Okay. Success. Yeah. Okay, you might imagine this, but you think you see something silvery flicking away from the fire. Hmm. Um, as you as you come around, but you can't tell if you imagined it or not. It might just be the flickering of the the window pane, which is now on fire in front of you. I'm gonna start heading towards the door, like the front door, from the sounds of the fire. Have like, I not I'm getting out of this to building. Get a fire extinguisher. By well, this I imagine you had. You pulled the pin. You've now extinguishing it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. I'm getting to the front door ready to run out <laughs> in case the fire spreads. Hobble out. Yes. Well, you've done the best you can from the out you've get. done the best you can from the inside on a fire that is on the outside, but the rain appears to be dampening it as well. It's definitely charred. You can tell it's not exactly the most sturdy of uh, window panes. But again, as I said, it's quite small. You'd struggle to get anybody, even a small person, through that. Yeah, I just didn't want the fire to spread and, like, set the office on fire. No, sure, I get that. And it hasn't. <clears throat> Job success. All right, right that's well good. Let's go home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So... But will our vehicles work? I'm thinking... We all get in that van. I don't... I don't know. Because, I mean, like I said, the, the same thing that happened with the lights happened to my vehicle. It, it, the engine died when that happened. I think we have to wait till the lights come back on before we try anything. But if we, uh, we might be safer in here, actually. If it's happening to you, we're a bit fucked. The lights do begin to dimly come back on, but only dimly. I, think I say we, we take the chance. Right. I they then suddenly them. turn very, very bright, and all of the bulbs begin popping in turn. 
Jesus! Jesus! I'm gonna Christ. die behind the counter. I'm gonna go through the front door because I'm standing at it already. Uh, I'm gonna drop and crawl under a desk. <laughs> I'm gonna drop and cower. Do I have to make any sort of roll to not get blinded by the flash? Um, you're not gonna get blinded by the flash, other than just occasional, you know, after images. Um, there's some small shards of glass, but I'm not cruel enough to roll that as a damage. So yeah, Gla yeah, there's a small panes of glass underneath all of the light sources, including the ones that weren't actually on. The desk lamp, for example, has also had their bulb pop on it. If we try something, we try it now. Educa yeah, sure. Education roll on that one, actually. On what? Education roll from anybody. From, from all of us? If you want, but okay. only one of you needs to make this, really. Yeah, there we go. Right, Snoopy. <laughs> That desk lamp isn't plugged in, but it's still turned on, and the light popped on it. I, I pick up the desk lamp. Yep, it's not plugged in, but the, I, the bulb I is... It, yeah, I, I put it all the way out until we see the plug. Yep. And then I show off the broken bulb. That, that can't happen, can it? I quickly check the, uh, check my cell phone to see if it popped right. in. It, it didn't I actually, think... but it is now show. It's not even bothering it's... showing the emergency signal only thing at the moment. It's just showing errors. Is there, is there are bulbs in here. Considering it's a. I I think I there think we should do what the old man says. We we should try something to get out of here. Is the bulb with my flashlight okay? Um, no, actually, it didn't pop, but the flashlight doesn't appear to be working anymore. <sighs> Dang. Right, I say we board up the windows. Push stuff against the window. Why do I do that? I'm not trying to stay here. I, you're gonna I get, you're gonna, think listen, we should get out of here. Listen to me. So you're going to go out there with whatever is out there rather than stay in this very static, defensible place. So what are we going to do? Just stay here till we die? I mean, I guess we could try one of the other buildings. buildings. At this point, Judging from the explosion of the lights, even in here is not very safe. At this point, you hear something. It sounds like a window breaking. Um, sound a bit far off. It's a bit far off. Probably the diner. Perhaps we should move to the barn where there's less windows. There are no windows. I'm going to go to a wooden barn. After how, something. Said, how do we know this is a barn? Well, uh, it's a small wooden structure it looks like on the a edge. Barn? <laughs> it looks like a barn. What else is it going to be? Well, the only... It could be a storage... Uh, a wooden storage thing for something, but... I, I was going to say, like, we know one building is a diner and one building is a gas station. And that's the only other building over there that we can see. Yep. But the policeman said he came here to check on the warehouse. So I have to assume that one building is the warehouse. Well, listen, listen, listen here. It's a web house. What yes. you're saying is you want to go into that wooden barn after something set a glass pane on fire. Yep. Yeah, no, the window sill, not the glass frame. itself. But the frame. Oh, I thought you... Oh. <laughs> it, whatever it is that's out there might be looking for us. At least it couldn't see us in the barn. Uh, I don't like that logic. Because if we if we can't see it, we can't effectively defend ourselves. So what? We're just gonna stay in a building that's okay. exposed. It's not really that exposed. It, whatever it is, is obviously knows it's, that we're here. And it's that's, going to it's... know that we're in the barn too. And I'd rather not be in the extremely flammable wooden barn. How then, what are we going to do? This place is more defensible. We push things up against... I'm going to head out. I'm going to go through the door and head towards my car. Okay. Uh, You're now outside again. It's still raining quite heavily. Um, yeah, you head towards your car. Is there is there a weapon near the Spot counter at all? for you when you're ready to... Like, um, I'll ask Senior. What did Senior say? I was asking if there was a weapon near the counter, maybe. I could grab since everyone else has a weapon. Um, actually, I'm going to say there is. There's, there's a 
there is a revolver underneath the um, the counter. It's behind glass, but it's it's there. Well, I guess I'll uh, bust the glass open and take it. Yeah, there was a lock, but obviously you don't have a key, and I didn't imagine you'd want to wait for it, so. I mean, what's going to happen if I break the glass? Is it going to set off an alarm and call the police? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that might be terrible. But anyway, <laughs> yes, you have a gun. I have the police here. So I have bullets. I, uh, I hold the gun up, you know, taking care not to, you know, put my finger on the trigger or anything so everyone can see it. Mm -hmm. Tell them that, uh, you know, there was a gun under the counter or whatever. So they don't think I'm just going to, like, try and like, take advantage of the situation somehow. Right, give me all your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it was me all along. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before in a session, but... <laughs> But um, no, that takes I more, that takes more planning. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that for a first. Um... So fast. I know. Still, what are your plans from here then? I mean, um, the old man's gone outside, seemingly without telling anybody. I'm gonna go out to the front door because some. I think something's gonna try and grab it. Wait, what, why are we splitting up? We really? shouldn't split up. Only the old man split. Up. The old man insisted he wanted to go home, so he's yeah, he's, gone. Being a, he's being a cranky <laughs> old man. <laughs> Where did the old man go to? At the front door. Harold. His car. Yes. Yeah. Spot hidden when you get outside. I did. Sorry, I think. Think. Yep. Oh, what did you, you roll? Failed it. You failed. Uh, failed. He saw nothing. Okay, so you get to your car and you don't see anything. You're um, keeping a careful lookout for lights, I imagine. So it's not that. Is there, did, 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 he, did he move the bloody vehicle in the end? That's yes. walking the road? Okay. Yeah, you can see he's no longer walking um, the road. Go try and start. Okay. For whatever reason, the car won't start. Uh, bloody hell. I'm going to peek out the window, uh, or a window, making sure not to get too close to the frame. Well, the only windows can... really are the front of the, the office and the small one at the back here. So there's no way to look out for that? Well, no, there are. There's just the large glass at the front of the... Because um, that's effectively the front. Dylan said he parked yeah, around I'm... here. So I'm, I'm just going to look and see if I can still see Harold, or if he immediately got nabbed by anything. No, you can just about you can hear um, Harold. You know he's um, he's okay for the moment. Though you also hear him trying the car not failing to start up. Trying the car not failing to start up. Wow. <laughs> you hear him trying to start the car and right. failing to start up. I was smack it with my stick a bit. <laughs> I'm not going to roll for damage on your car from a stick. <laughs> he's he's doing that Basil Faulty moment with the branch. <laughs> <laughs> There are plenty of branches around <laughs> if you want to see that, Dylan. I don't need one. I already got one in my hand. Effectively. They see you're beating the shit out of your mentor's bodywork. Well done. Well done. You probably hear some angry expletives from an old man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no mechanic, but I don't think that's going to help him. I want to try and see if I can get my cell phone old man spitting up errors. Would that be electronics or computer use? Well, actually, Would it be something you know else? That's right, what are you going to try and stop? I'm going to see if I can troubleshoot my phone. Um, yeah, I'll say electronics. Right, so now I'll stop freaking out. I'm actually going to take a look inside. Okay. Hood. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay, um... It almost appears as if um, it's definitely not connected to the network. You know that much. But um, apparently something has gone wrong with the operating system on it as well. Hmm. So it's not just an electrical issue. It's also a It might have issue. caused it, but it does appear as if the phone has um, just completely failed. It's Nokia's are unbreakable. It's not even, it's not even, it's, I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's why you got the odd Nokia, isn't it? Um, <laughs> but yeah, something has caused it to absolutely fail. Not just on the case of Okay, we have no signal. It'll still function in every other way you want to use it. It has completely failed. Well, I will 
I will inform everyone then that whatever is causing the lights to, you know, go out, it's uh, also causing some very adverse effects to, you know, all the other electronics. Sort of. You know, oh, to see, no, it sounds issues. distinctly like an EM surge. Yeah. All right, can I look under the hood then? Uh, yep. Can I have a mechanical repair roll? hard success you don't see anything mechanically wrong with a car but you would guess that the battery is likely dead do you have any way of generating some electricity to jump start this thing that's the question well, I assume you can find some jumper cables but there's nothing to jump it off but you also yeah. need a ridiculously high current to turn over a starter motor Dylan. <laughs> mm-hmm Blew my neck. Head back to the back to the building. Okay, you're back in the building. Well, my car's not getting us out of here. The um the young girl is awake again. She hasn't said anything about waking this time, she's just staring at the window. I ask her what she sees. Mm. It's not here yet. It will be. Okay, then we it's should hungry. move to the... We should move to a different building. That won't help. What does it eat? Bad I have people. a bad feeling. She, yeah. She just said bad it, people. It, hmm. Daddy said it only hurts bad people. Hmm. Hmm. What is it? It's the monster. What monster? What's it called? She she either doesn't she doesn't answer or she's ignoring you. She just still stares at the window. We'll be safe in the morning. It doesn't hunt at the morning. It only comes for you at night. Hmm. Oh great! Not I how ask I her. Planned on spending my Friday night. I ask her where her father's at. Psychology. Um, anybody who's in the room and uh, saw the uh, question asked can have this. Oh, also, hard mechanical repair role means you got a, an extreme electronics role means you got checks on both those skills. Sorry, I've been really bad so, at tracking this, but if you got a hard or better um, success on a skill, you get a check on it. So you can go back and um, check that as we go through. Okay, that's a psychology roll success from somebody. Snoops. Money. Okay. She seems to cringe when that question is asked. Only briefly, but um, that got a reaction from her of some kind. It only goes so I time. suppose I, since that's something I need to roll, huh? Well, if you want to. You don't have to, but... She, she repeats, it only goes after bad people. How do we know... That was how, how do we know if a person's bad? She doesn't answer or is ignoring you. Well, I've never broken any laws. She, um... Might not mean that. Um, she then so she sort of rubs a temple, which is clearly yeah, with a bruised temple, by the way. She has a bruise in case you hadn't noticed that before. I know some characters might not have done. Does well, anyone have first aid? Yes. Afraid not. Uh, both times I've tried to first aid roll on her, I failed it. No, despite so she's, having she's a 50 in first aid. Yeah. It's too late at this point, probably, to do anything first aid related. So as I would try. Well, you could probably use it to basic diagnosis of what happened to her, but you can't use it to treat. I think um, I think Manny already said that the wound was about an hour old when um, he first found her. Yeah, he did. I'm going to well, rummage around the office and see if I can find any anything related to just anything unusual. That doesn't turn up anything. I'm all up for moving to another building. Okay. But like, um, there's uh, nothing much here for us here. Let's have a spot hidden from you anyway. 
For me? Yep. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> we are so bad at that. We are all so bad. <laughs> yep. It doesn't matter, though, for physically at this point. I would only have given you a half clue to something anyway if you'd have got that, so... But anyway, you're still in the um, you're still in the office. The lights are still extremely dim. In fact, they're non-existent at this point because they're all shattered. But you still got phone lights which yeah. are working just about. Apart from apparently, um, I don't even know what his character's called, but Senor's character because his phone apparently has died. Well, it's not dead. It's just not not working. It's sort of on sort of a dark light, which is just about revealing things. Yeah, it's just not doing anything. You can sort of use it as a makeshift sort of low-level light. Oh, when I said flashlight, I meant the light on the back of your phone. Ah. But well, yeah. that could work too, if you could access the um, app to make it start. <laughs> I suppose you could jury-rig it with electronics. Well, all you need is a... Uh, you have to supply the right voltage to it, but yeah, it's you're talking about surface mounting. You could, you could use ridiculous. an electronic roll to turn his phone into a flashlight. Certainly, he's got the skill to do it, potentially, so... Sure, I want the hand ring iron. <laughs> well, you are. There are supplies here. I mean, it, it would be a bit silly, but there might be something here that would work. And either way, you're still in this area. The rain is still fun coming down. There's still the occasional rumble of thunder getting closer and closer, seemingly. Besides, maybe, maybe it's warmer in there. Maybe there's some working lights or flashlights or something over there. I am going to s hike up my trench coat once again and stalk out to uh, the door yeah, of, of course, the diner. Anyone else feels like giving uh, their car a try, but uh, I'm not holding out any hopes. I'm going to head towards the diner. I don't think it'll do anything, sadly. Okay. Who is stepping out of a diner at this point? The um, the young girl has not made any move motion to follow you at this point. I'm just letting you know. Uh, I went out. What what the rest of them do? I don't know. I, I'm with you. Right. So I'm saying you. So you stepped out first. Uh huh. Okay. Luck roll. Yay. Oh, Dream. nice. Okay. As you um as you step out, um you hear a loud bang and basically the the grass in front of you seems to jump up. Uh, something is just shot straight in front of you. Direction from the diner. Okay, I'm gonna dash back into the gas station. He's in the fucking diner, the shooter. Oh god. Um, against against the roar of the wind and rain, you vaguely hear something being shouted. I said I'm dashing back into the I know, but you vaguely hear that being shouted as you do this. I vaguely hear myself. <laughs> no, you hear you hear shouting. Oh, I hear shouting. Okay. okay. Yeah. You, you you said hear that shouted. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've got no weapons. Uh I I don't know why they didn't shoot me earlier when I was out there, but uh I definitely not leading the way out. I fucking did it again. I keep turning my mic off. <laughs> <laughs> well done, sir. Okay, so I, how far back <laughs> do we need to go? Yeah, it, do, it doesn't matter. I've just been on this thing mainly. Okay, that's fine. But I, I did say I was trying to stay behind cover, trying to peer at the uh, diner to see if I could see anyone. Yeah, the angles aren't exactly perfect, and there's not a lot of lights from either error at this stage. You can't make it out. You can just about make out the outline yeah. of the gloom. No worries. You can hear more... You can hear some... You hear another bit of shattering going on as well. Glass. Prone glass. towards the diner. Yeah. You vaguely recall hearing something like that about ten minutes ago. I... Did it sound like a gunshot? No, it was really? glass shattering last time, and you ignored it all. No, no. When, when the ground heaved up. Oh yeah, that was a gunshot. Yeah, there was a loud bang, and then that happened. I shout at everyone to get the fuck inside of this ha this goddamn garage. We're all inside. You're all inside. We're all inside. I know, but I'm. Yeah. I know, but I'm shouting it to doubly make sure that goddamn old man gets inside. 
I'm I'm gonna um pull out my gun upon hearing that gunshot. Yep. And me yelling that the shooter's in the diner. Mm -hmm. Gotta get down behind the counter. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Either way, that's inside and you can't really see... Um, because obviously from a directionality of this, this is a solid wall. Yeah. Glass panes here. You can barely... You can't really even see the diner from where you currently are. No. I'm guessing from the front of the building, you know. Yeah, yeah, there's sure. There's a window there, there's a window there. Yeah, the windows are about here and here, facing out to the gas area. I mean, admittedly, if you just have a look at where the lights are on the... Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking. The thing, there's a small yeah. window back here. That's effectively it. So, actions and plans. 